that's the spirit. Yes. Being uh, graceful in victory and defeat. We now head to West Pokot uh, County, and Steve Kater has been covering that for us. He has an update. Yes, thank you so much uh, from studio. It has been a long 12 hours of waiting for the top gubernatorial uh, candidates here in West Pokot County as they sat here at Mutelo Hall, which is the main county telling center, watching the results streaming in from uh, various constituency that make up this county and here with me is the winner of the very tight race uh, this is a former governor who is now coming back uh, to take uh, the position he was the first governor of uh, West Pocot County he is now the third governor of West Pocot County congratulations Mana governor please uh, can you tell us how how was you how are you feeling when you're just sitting here watching the results coming uh, coming by uh, well, uh, it has been a tight race, as you have put it, and uh, I thank the people of West Pocot for having confidence in me once more, because uh, I was the first governor, and today they have re-elected me uh, for the second time. I think that confidence comes from the performance uh, of my first term, which I performed uh, relatively very well. And I think uh, I have another energy and experience to work for them for the next five years. And I want to promise the people of West Pokot that uh, I'll do uh, all I can to see to that uh, their standards of living is raised by seeing that uh, uh, what affects them, the problems, the challenges they affect, it affects them, are addressed. And I think I will work closely, I will cooperate closely with other leaders to see that we uh, solve those problems that affect our people. Yeah. And uh, we have seen the uh, former governor who is still incumbent until the hands over. You have beaten him with uh, less than 2,000 votes, but he has accepted to support you. What does that mean to your next administration? Well, that is the spirit of democracy, uh, that when uh, the people decide, you concede. And I want to thank him for that, because even in 2017, I did the same in the same mall, and I gave him uh, all the cooperation and all the environment, the opportunity to lead. And I think he has also reciprocated in the same manner. He has also uh, uh, done the same, and I think I will work for the, for the people of West Pocot tirelessly to see that uh, uh, the fruits of devolution are realized. As the first governor, and now I worked in the, in the national government as CAS, I think I have the, the experience uh, to work even better for the people of West Pocot, for, for the many challenges they face in the health sector, infrastructure such as roads, uh, issues of insecurity, issues of water, and uh, seeing that uh, we have food security in our county. Yes. Now that uh, the people of West Pocot have given you a second chance, what are those uh, projects that you wish you had done in your first uh, term, but you didn't do them, but now you really promised yourself that you are going to do them if you are given the opportunity? Well, in my first term, uh, I did much, although if you know that was laying the foundation of, of devolution. And now I have another, another opportunity uh, to move forward, to realize more uh, developmental issues, especially creation, uh, creation of wealth, because our youth uh, these days are unemployed. And I think I'll concentrate more as, 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 as the Jubilee um, government, which I was in, the big four, food security, issues of industry, issues of agriculture, that, that, that uh, to realize food security, issues of health, because our people's uh, still go uh, five years like uh, elderly to, uh, to get medical attention. I think I'll concentrate on issues that we'll see to it that uh, the standards of living of our people is raised. And that is what, when I was in national government, we addressed as the big four agenda. And that was also to see to it that uh, we create employment for our youth, which many of them are unemployed. And I think that's a time bomb which any other government must address. So I think uh, I laid the foundation 
for devolution. And I think all the devolved functions, uh, I think uh, I'm going to see that with now uh, enhanced uh, revenues, I think we're going to do much more, especially in health and infrastructure, to boost the economy and also to boost agriculture. So I think I'm going to do much in, my, in this second term, and that's why I want to thank the people of Spokot for having that confidence in me. Yes. Thank you so much, Abana Governor. I see the uh, MP elect for Kapenguria constituency, uh, Mr. Samuel Moroto, joining us. This is your how many term? Now heading to the fifth term. <laughs> and I want to congratulate you. <laughs> I want to congratulate the incoming governor. He was there and he did so well. That's why people still recall what he did. And uh, we have a lot of faith. And we will support him. Especially where I come from, like now, Kapenguria. Kapenguria is a, is a, is a dense population. There are many people here. Well, that was uh, West Pokot Governor-elect Simon Kachapin, who's now going to be the new West Pokot Governor, dethroning uh, the very popular uh, John, John Lodiangapo. You know, when, when <laughs> I saw Kachipin speak, I, I had to go back to YouTube to listen to some of those witticisms by uh, Lonyangapo, but uh, he has conceded uh, defeat. Do you remember Kijana Fupi Amenon around? Yes, oh, who, who doesn't know that comment? <laughs> but but in, interestingly, it was a very, very tight race. Uh, Kachapin also admits that it was very, very close because the difference um, between him and Lonyangapo is only 1,866 votes. So it was close. Very, very, very close. And so, um, I mean, for Kachapin coming in after, it, this is very interesting. He was governor yes. and lost in 20, 2017 to Nyangapur. Then